Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and thank you so so much for tuning in with me today. So for today I thought it was about time to actually film another skincare empties video. I haven't done one of these in a long time. I actually checked and my last empties video was uploaded around six months ago. I can't believe I haven't done one of these in such a long time so I thought today would be the day where I would share with you guys what skincare products I have emptied. And would I repurchase these products or am I just like happy that I've emptied them out but I'm in no hurry to actually, you know, get them into my skincare routine again. I'm going to share all of the details with you. Just keep in mind this is solely based upon my own experience with the products. Everyone's skin is very individual and everyone's preference is very individual too. So please do share your thoughts with me in case you have tried out any of the products that I've emptied out. Do drop me a comment down below and also if you do enjoy empties videos why not give it a thumbs up hit the subscribe button if you are new on here and also don't forget to ring the bell in order to get notified about my upcoming videos i mean it is no secret that most of the products that i'm using in my skincare routine are actually k-beauty products so they are from korea and if you're ever curious about any of the products or if you ever would love to shop any of the k-beauty uh, products you know i actually do have an affiliate code with stylevana i'm going to put the code right here but I'm also going to be linking all of the products in my description box down below but I don't think any of these products were actually gifted to me or sent to me in PR. I think all of those I purchased with my own money. But again thank you so so much if you are using the code or if you are using any of the links in my description box down below. That means a lot to me, it's going to support my channel, so I really do appreciate it. So for all of the products that are in K-Beauty, I am going to make sure that I'm going to be linking them in my description box below to a different retailer where you will be able to find them. But alright you guys, that's pretty much everything I wanted to have said for the intro. If you have any further questions, I mean, please feel free to drop me a comment down below, you know. Uh, I would say let's actually go through these empties in order of my skincare routine. So, you know, starting with my morning cleanser and then ending it off actually maybe with some body care because I actually do have some body care for today's video and some other like products here and there. So let's actually kick it off with the morning cleansers. So in my last skincare empties, I actually did not really feature a morning cleanser just due to the fact that the morning cleanser that I'm about to talk about took me such a long time to empty. I felt like I had this product for the longest time ever. This was a never ending product because I just needed so little of it to efficiently cleanse my skin in the morning. And I'm talking about the I'm From Mugwort Gel Cleanser. I'm From is one of my favorite K-Beauty brands and Mugwort is one of my favorite ingredients. So when they had released this gel cleanser, I was like jumping on it straight away. I wanted to try this one out and honestly, I really do enjoy this. This is just personal preference. I did use this in the morning. Also mainly because it has this nice scent to it. Now. This does not include any synthetic fragrance or anything, but this did include some Artemisia, I think it's Artemisia vulgaris. Are they using vulgaris or princeps? I think they are using Artemisia vulgaris oil. And that oil has like a natural sort of scent to it. If you've never tried out mugwort, you know, you're either gonna like it or you're not gonna like it. It's kind of like this aromatic, sort of almost like woodsy scent, but very refreshing. And because it was so refreshing, I just loved using this in the morning to wake me up. I call this cleanser the Flubber Cleanser. If you are a 90s kid and you remember the movie Flubber, it has the exact same sort of color. Not as neon green, but it's pretty green. And when it comes out, it comes out in a very like, almost like a stiff gel. I don't think this product is necessarily suited to do dry cleansing with. So I immediately emulsify it. I literally rub it in my hand and then I go onto my skin with it. This does such an amazing job in refreshing my skin and cleansing my skin. It's very, very efficient. It's not one of these cleanses where you feel like you have not done anything, but it's also not over over the top aggressive to the point where you know you can feel your skin being stripped of any moisture i felt like this was very very gentle still to the skin although it's a foaming one and usually in the morning i prefer a non-foaming sort of jelly cleanser this also rinses off very easily i always use a glove to rinse off my cleansers i always feel like it's more efficient than just doing it with the hands and this lasted me for so so long because another thing is 
you don't need a lot of product with this cleanser. You really don't. I really, really did enjoy it. I will repurchase this. I have not repurchased this just yet, but I would. All right, so let's move on to the cleanser that I started using in the morning after I had emptied this one. And this is actually a repurchased product. This is the Mad About Skin Gentle Jelly Cleanser. So this is not a K-Beauty product. This is actually a brand that is owned by a fellow YouTube content creator, Rob, over on here. His channel is called Mad About Skin and he has a skincare line. And I have tried this product in the past and I've loved it. But because it has this amazing texture, I don't really want to use this to remove my makeup with. I just kind of want to you know, have a really nice start to the day with this cleanser. So I never really use it to remove my makeup with, but I did try and it did work so, so well. I mean, in general, I do prefer a cleanser that is not over the top foaming in the morning. Although, I mean, I use this in the morning, you know, I can definitely do a foaming cleanser in the morning, but I, if I can choose, I would always just use something that is not foaming. And this is non-foaming. It's not gonna like lather up into a foam. Once you emulsify this with water, it's actually even getting a little bit thicker. Like the gel is almost like super jelly. It is so good, I love it. And you know, this is not the first time I'm featuring it in an empties video. I mean, I have repurchased this product and I even have a backup of it. So I really do love this cleanser, especially for my morning skincare routine. All right, and then the next product, I finally emptied this, but this took me a very, very, very long time because this is a product that I reach for maybe twice a month max. And this is by Hero Cosmetics. It's the Clear Collective Exfoliating Jelly Cleanser. Now, the reason why I'm not using this on a daily basis is basically because this is an exfoliating cleanser. This does contain some AHA in it. And if you know me, you know I'm not doing well with a lot of acids. So when I'm using an AHA or a BHA, it's always in a cleanser form. And I just use them very sparingly. I just use them when I feel like, oh, it's time to exfoliate my skin, which is like maybe twice a month. So this took me a long, long time to actually go through it. However, this is the best exfoliating product I've ever used. Ever. And also the AHA that is contained in this cleanser is actually encapsulated. So it has a little bit of a slower release time. And usually the way I'm using this is I'm doing a dry cleanse with this. So I'm like rubbing it in, you know, letting it sit for like two minutes and then I'm adding water to it and I'm gently just cleaning off all of the dead skin cells. This lasted me for over a year. And honestly, this has an expiration date of like 12 months after opening it up. So I did repurchase this product and I did not bother like using, you know, the rest of it just because I know it's expired. This also has a little bit of a natural scent to it. This does not have any synthetic fragrance to it. It almost has like a little bit of a citrusy scent to it. Like very, very mildly. Again, this is one of the only like uh, exfoliating products I'm having in my routine and that I always rely on. So yeah, I really did enjoy this. All of these three cleansers I've used in the morning and I really had a great experience with them. All right, so let's move on to the cleansers that I used up from my evening skincare routine. And I mean, you already know what's gonna come up. Of course it is the Sayoris Cleanse Me Softly Milk Cleanser. I always do a double cleanse. I love milk cleansers and I need something that is very, very efficient in getting rid of my eye makeup, of my full bead that I'm usually wearing. Especially for my eyes, I do need something that I can rely on that is not irritating my eyes. And that is super gentle and yet efficient. And that's this product is so, so, so amazing. And honestly, I have completely lost count of the bottles I've emptied in the course of six months. They're probably a lot. Uh, another thing that I quickly do want to mention about this product is something very important though. So Sayoris has recently come out with a new version of this product. And I just want to caution you about this because the one that I love is a fragrance free milk cleanser that is also quite difficult to find but they have come out with a version that does include some essential oils and it's a citrus version and i mistakenly purchased four of them four bottles because i did not realize that this was the citrus version i don't know i just clicked on the product and i was just add to cart I do need a little bit of a stock again you know i'm almost running out of mine and then i got it and i was like why does this say citrus here? It is 
a very small sort of like thing that you might not be able to see when you're looking at the packaging. I mean, it did say it in the title. Did I pay attention on Stylvana? No. So I purchased this one and it smells of citrus and I don't really enjoy it that much. To be honest, this scent, uh, it smells so, so strongly of citrus. It's just overpowering. I mean, the scent of the citrus version is just not up my alley. This is way too strong. Don't go with that citrus version unless you love very, very strong citrus scent. Look, I still almost emptied this product because I needed this in my life. I just really disliked the scent, but I just had to wait until the fragrance free version would arrive. But I did not really try out a balm or any other milk cleanser this time around. I just stuck to what worked for me. I do have a couple of foaming cleansers though, so this would be my second step in my double cleansing routine. So I finally emptied this one. This is by Rovectin. It is the Skin Essentials Conditioning Cleanser. This took me bloody ages to actually empty it because you just need the smallest amount of this cleanser to effectively cleanse your skin with. It is just such a potent cleanser. I would not necessarily recommend this product if you have very, very dry skin. It's not necessarily like stripping my skin, but it feels squeaking clean. If you have very, very dry skin, maybe don't go with this one, go with the next one that I have emptied. However, this is very good. It is very efficient. It is fragrance free. This foams up with very, very little product. It's not like the most exciting cleanser that I've tried. However, it is, I think, featured in my best k-beauty cleanses because it is very efficient so if you need something that gets your skin very clean this is a good one maybe one day i would repurchase it but i'm in no hurry and the next one i would really recommend if you have a little bit of drier skin and you want a really good effective foaming cleanser but honestly any skin type could use this one this is by isn't tree and it's the onion new pair cleansing foam i honestly squeezed out every last bit of this cleanser because i just love this so much and i have repurchased this product it is amazing and i just love it because this is almost like a hydrating foaming cleanser. It does not smell of anything. It's completely fragrance free. This one and the Purito from Green Deep Foaming Cleanser, those are my favorite ones. And especially if you have dry skin, I think you would love this product. You would adore it. This definitely does foam up. It's not as foamy as the Purito one. I think nothing can beat that one. You don't need a lot of product with this to be efficient but also if you do enjoy a foaming cleanser in the morning you could definitely use this one as a morning cleanser i just prefer it as a second cleanser in my evening skincare routine because it's just so so efficient it really does leave your skin feeling very soft yet clean and it really does not strip your skin in any way so that's why i really do enjoy it but all right you guys those were all of the cleansers that i was using over the past six months so let's actually move on to the toners and to the essences that I have emptied out. So let's start off with the toners that I am using in my morning skincare routine. And uh, this is quite obvious. This is also a product that I constantly repurchase because I just love it so, so much. And I finally have emptied the last uh, two bottles that actually came in the old packaging of this. I'm talking about the Isn't Tree Green Tea Fresh Toner. So yeah, I did empty two of these again <laughs> i mean i just love this so much i mean the benefits of green tea are endless this is a product that i love using in the morning after i have cleansed my skin i just pour some in the palm of my hands and then i pat it in with my bare hands i never use a cotton pad or anything and i do like two layers of this i mean i had this in stock so that's why you are seeing the old version of the packaging but you know ever since i've emptied these out i have of course started a new bottle this is the new packaging of the product and this one was actually sent to me by stalvana in pr but you know i mean i've been using this product for like maybe like two years by now and i have always purchased these with my own money i was just really lucky that they have actually sent me one of my holy grail products in pr it's so good it's just balancing my skin it is preventing like excessive sebum production and when i started using this product in particular i definitely saw a dramatic change in my skin and honestly i bet you that you are going to to be seeing this product in every upcoming empties video because i use this daily 
And this is something I always want to have. Usually after I have applied the green tea toner, I'm going in with something a little bit more plumping, a little bit more hydrating. And I've emptied this one out. This is the V Green Alcohol Free Nature Mucin Toner. So this is like a vegan version of a snail mucin toner. This is made with yam root and you know phytomucin has very beneficial properties to it. I really enjoyed this. This is nothing like a snail mucin toner though. Like I'm gonna have a snail product coming up because I actually do enjoy snail mucin products quite a lot. But I used this in the morning after I have applied my green tea toner as I said. And this is amazing. It's very plumping. It's not too thick. It's not too watery, but it's also not like viscous. It's somewhere in between and it just sinks in so, so nicely. And I feel like this deeply plumps your skin. It gives you a very nice burst of hydration. And I would most definitely um, repurchase this product, but I'm in no hurry because right now I'm using the Pyongkang Yul um, Essence Toner. And that one to me, it's really good in the winter time because it's also kind of like a similar texture and a similar sort of like effect to the skin. I would maybe repurchase this product in the future, most definitely. Okay, so those were the ones that I've emptied from my morning skincare routine. So let's actually move on to the evening skincare routine with the toners and essences. So I have not completely emptied this product, but honestly, I just want to include it in today's video because this is something that I have been using since the summertime. And it just does not want to go empty on me. And it's also a very underrated K-Beauty toner. And this is the Isntree Aloe Soothing Toner. This just does not want to go empty on me, although I'm using two layers of this in my evening skincare routine. And in the beginning, the very first time when I applied this, I was like, wait, what? This is just like putting water on my skin. Oh, no, 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 no. This is definitely conditioning your skin. It is really impressive because it has such a lightweight texture that you would think it's not going to do something, but it does. Because when you apply it, you're like, oh wait, my skin feels super soft, really hydrated, conditioned. And also I feel like it's a very soothing toner because apart from the aloe vera that they have put in here, they have put a bunch of other amazing ingredients. And I think one of them is Santala Asiatica extract. So this is very soothing. It has a bunch of great antioxidant sort of ingredients. So I'm trying to empty this out. See, this probably is going to last me for maybe another two weeks. Who knows? Um, it's ridiculous how long this product lasted, how inexpensive it is, and the benefits are amazing. And I mean, I have tried out so many products by Isntree, but this was always a product that never really spoke to me that much until I thought, you know what, let's just try it. It's really cheap and I just kind of want to try it if it's good or not, but it's amazing. This is really fantastic and I've been loving it and I would definitely recommend it, especially if you don't enjoy these more viscous, almost like gel type of toners. And if you want something very watery, go with this one. Okay, so another one that I've emptied out that I love, which is completely the opposite of what I've just showed you, is by Causarax. It's the Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence. I think this might be my third bottle <laughs> that I have emptied. I mean, I love this. This has just gone so viral and for a good reason, because this is really amazing. I love snail mucin, as I said before. I really do enjoy the plumping effect. Like, I feel like every time I'm using this, my skin feels very healthy. It is super conditioned, it's just plumped with hydration. And I'm using this after I use a toner, just right before I'm going in with my serums. This little 100 milliliter bottle is gonna last you for such a long, long time. I feel like this is another product where you just need a little bit of this and it's just gonna go such a long way. And I just have enjoyed this product for a long time by now and I definitely have repurchased this product. I do have a backup of this. So the next product that I've completely emptied is by Dr. Syracle and it's the Vegan Kombucha Tea Essence. So I'm going to show you some footage of this product because this is actually a biphase formula, meaning that it has two different formulas, one that contains the tea component, the kombucha tea, and then also the other one that has like the moisture, the like oily part that swims on top of it, so to speak. 
and you gotta give this one a shake so i don't think i will ever repurchase this product not because it's not a good product but i think it's not meant for my skin type in particular nonetheless i still emptied this entire bottle and i can see why some people really do enjoy this product i only needed like what three drops of this and i was fine i loved using this in the winter time but it's kind of the exact same story than with the i'm from rice toner where i feel like this is too moisturizing for me but not in a bad way it's just more of a preference thing i like you know products that are a little bit more plumping more juicy more hydrating and this almost felt like a little bit too greasy for me. I mean, it just feels a little bit slippery, a little bit greasy. It is very hydrating, yes, but it leaves me with this like film over my skin that I don't really enjoy that much. And I think that's the problem with this. It's this moisturizing film. I like to have that maybe in a moisturizer, but I don't really need it in essence. This might be one of the only products in today's video where I'm just like, yeah, if you have dry skin, you will love this, but it's not me. It's just not for me, <laughs> but I'm happy I've tried it out. You know, it was like interesting to actually use a product like this. So let's move on to the next step of my skincare routine, which would be the serums. In the morning, I really try to use antioxidant rich or like hydrating serums the most. It's by April Skin and it's the collagen peptide plumping serum. So this has a plant derived soluble collagen and also hyaluronic acid. The soluble collagen comes in at 40%. I'm not going to run out and purchase this again just because of one thing. And this again boils down to preferences, like personal preferences. It's the fact that this gave me gloss skin. Like this made my skin so glowy. Oh my gosh. I mean, if you love that gloss skin sort of trend, I don't really like that too much. I'm already glowing when I put on my skincare routine, but I don't want to glow excessively. And this gave me that excessive sort of shine. So if you ever wanted a hydrating serum that gives you glass skin, it's this one. And it's kind of a shame because I do enjoy the formula otherwise. But I'm not going to be repurchasing this. So that was it for my hydrating selection. So let's move over to some antioxidant rich uh, serums that I love using in the morning. I think I had already featured this product on my channel. This is the I'm from vitamin fruit serum. I think this is the second time that this makes it into one of my empties videos. I love this. This is based on sea buckthorn extract and this is amazing because this does not contain any fragrance. It does not contain any essential oils. It's a really lovely antioxidant rich serum it has a really nice texture to it and this is again a repurchase product and i would obviously repurchase this product again so it's really nice and i do enjoy it so the next product is actually a newer release by purito and it's the clear coat super fruit serum this is hydrating and antioxidant rich all at once this is based on noni fruit extract i love noni juice so much it's something I really do adore. So I thought, let's give it a try. I mean, it says target and balance. And in the morning, I am doing a little bit more of like a balancing sort of skincare routine. Overall, it really provided me with some extremely nourishing ingredients. And also, it really hydrated my skin. And it was really amazing. I love the texture of this because it was so plumping, so hydrating. And it definitely did balance my skin. And it's just so fantastic i have repurchased this product immediately when i ran out of it okay so let's actually move on to my evening skincare routine so this one it took me such a long time to actually empty this one out but it's really good it's by cosa Rex and it's the propolis light ampule this is a very interesting product because it does contain propolis which is very anti-inflammatory this has really like a rich thick sort of consistency to it a very very glowy product though so i can only use this at night it was good it helped me but i do have some other products that help me a little bit more effectively especially my isn't tree green tea serum that's the one that i'm currently using in my evening skincare routine again it's almost empty and then another serum that i have emptied and i love this i've already repurchased this one this is by purito it's the centella unscented serum this is so plumping so hydrating but it has so many calming soothing properties this also has so many other amazing ingredients i mean it has niacinamide ceramide peptides also has metacasic acid which is a component of the centella plant this has like almost like more of like a gel sort of serum texture 
it is so calming and soothing, nourishing. I mean, I just love this. I would always repurchase this. Another product that I have completely emptied and repurchased, and it's the last serum. It's actually an ampule. And this is by Pyung Kang Yul. It's the Moisture Ampule. Not to be mistaken with the Moisture Serum, because they look identical. And also, this is huge. <laughs> There's a lot of product in here. I think this contains here yeah, 100 milliliters. First off, one of the main ingredients, and I think it's making up maybe like even like over 90% of this entire formula, is Coptis Japonica. And Coptis Japonica extract is so good and I had no idea because this is a very traditional Asian ingredient in skincare and they have been using this for centuries to calm your skin. It's very antibacterial. When I started including this to my skincare routine, I immediately saw a dramatic change. I always use this after I have applied my serums. I really use this to almost like seal in my serums right before I'm using a moisturizer. Now this does not pill, it does not do anything weird. It, it works perfectly to layer in between your steps, but it's just a strange texture. It is almost like a gel moisturizer. And the dropper, it's not the best. I feel like this should really come in a pump. It's an amazing ingredient and I had no idea about the ingredient. So I was pleasantly surprised when I used this. Coptis Japonica root extract, that's what it's called. It's from the root. So it's very efficient. I have seen amazing benefits with this. Really love it, adore it. So I would definitely recommend this. And also this is quite affordable. 100 milliliters, that's amazing. I've repurchased this product. I have a new bottle opened right now and I'm like using this quite religiously. Now you guys, I actually have emptied out an eye cream. This product has actually replaced my Allies of Skin Omega something eye cream. The one that is ridiculously expensive. And I'm so glad I found this product because this is an eye cream that I always use at night. I love this for the nighttime, you know, this is so effective. And this is by Haru Haru Wonder. It's the Black Rice Bakuchiol Eye Cream. I mean, I'm still using this in my evening routine ever since I found this product and I have repurchased this product already. This is so good and I cannot believe that I found this product, which is not too expensive at all. I'm kind of done with looking for an eye cream for the nighttime routine because this is everything I want because it really, really hydrates and moisturizes my under eyes. And I have seen such a dramatic difference ever since I have included this into my skincare routine. And I love it and I can only recommend it. This is also completely fragrance free. All right, so let's actually move on to some moisturizers. Now, if you know me, you know that in the morning I always use a gel moisturizer. But oddly enough, I have not emptied out a gel moisturizer. This is the one that I'm currently using. I mean, I'm almost done with it, but there is still some product in here this also contains a hundred milliliters of product so this actually does contain double product <laughs> and this is my favorite one i have emptied one of these prior and i had featured that in my last skincare empties video so right now i have not emptied this one out just yet just because I did not have this product for a while and I had to wait for my order to come in. And meanwhile, and this was also the time when I was moving, I did use the one by Isentree, the Aloe Fresh Gel Moisturizer, something like that. It's called Aloe Vera Fresh. It's like a fresh version because there's also one that is called Moist, but I've got the fresh version. So I was using that one, but that one also contains a lot of product. And then when I got this again, I was like, okay, well, no, I'm going to switch back to this. So that's why I don't really have an empty for the gel moisturizing category. Just know I love this. So let's actually move on to some moisturizers that I have empty that I used in my evening skincare routine. But this was the one that I like used during the summer and pretty much throughout the fall because it lasted me for a long time. And this is by Hamish. It's the Matcha Biome Oil Free calming gel moisturizer. This really did have a texture that I truly enjoyed. It was super plumping, really juicy and really hydrating, like deeply hydrating, yet it provided me with enough occlusivity so that I would seal in all of the products that I had, you know, applied uh, in my skincare routine, basically. And it's just really good because I woke up and I had really nice skin after applying this because I really do enjoy a moisturizer at night that when I wake up in the morning, I really want my skin to feel soft and still nourished and hydrated and plumped. 
overnight and this really provided me with that especially during the hot summer days i really did enjoy the texture and i repurchased this product and i really want to like use it after i'm done with my winter moisturizers and the next one i really enjoy using this especially when it gets a little bit colder outside it's completely empty it's the second time i have emptied this product or even the third time i don't know and it's by purito it's the b5 panthenol rebarrier cream this is fantastic you guys especially if you have dehydrated skin now if you have very dry skin you would also maybe love this in the morning like it really depends on what you like i like my gel moisturizers in the morning and i want something a little bit thicker more heavy at night but not too heavy i don't like my face to be over the top moisturized and this does not feel oily or greasy i don't even think it has any oil in here the only thing it does contain is squalane centella asiatica extract panthenol at 10 percent and panthenol is such an amazing ingredient to really hydrate and replump your skin the texture of this it's almost like it feels almost like wet I mean, it's not going to be like super tacky or anything. Don't worry about it. It's going to sink into the skin, especially in the winter time. This comes in very, very handy. And I really do enjoy this a lot. Moisturizers are the last step in my skincare routine, but I do have four other products for you that don't really fall into sort of like the face category necessarily. I do have a body care, hair care, and also something else. So let's kick it off with that other product that I emptied out. So this is by a brand called Rel Beauty. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but this is the Miracle Patch. It's one of these hydrocolloid patches, you know, the pimple patches. I mean, ever since I went to see my freaking dentist in September and he injected me with some numbing solution for my lower jaw, I ended up with the worst breakout I've ever experienced in my entire life, probably on my chin. It was bad. It was so bad. And until this day, and it's been like, what, four months at this point in time, I'm still struggling with this part of my face breaking out on me like why and it was so annoying because i had managed to actually keep my chin at bay when it comes to breakout situations but that one dentist visit just screwed it all up again so i needed something that would definitely help with just healing my breakouts and this was amazing i don't know if you ever tried out these like pimple patches but they are so fantastic my only problem with them is that they are usually too small or they don't like stick to the skin they fall off and this is like the real size of the patch on here and it's just so amazing especially if you have an entire area on your chin that breaks out whenever i put these on overnight in the morning my pimple had shrunk in size so so much all of the gunk was kind of out of the pimple <laughs> it sounds a little bit gross but it was so efficient so helpful they also stick so so well i mean this brand is amazing it's actually an american brand but it's also made in korea so i'm going to try and link these in my description box down below as well so if you have the exact same problem if you are suffering from a larger area of breakouts and the standard sort of pimple patches are not enough for you and you need something a little bit bigger these just have the perfect size and they really help to just speed up the healing process, to get rid of everything that is clogging your pores, basically, you know. So the next product is actually a hair care product that I have emptied out. And usually I never really talk about hair care products, but lately I got so many compliments in my real life from people telling me, oh my gosh, your hair looks so healthy. And it's this product that I've been using ever since I tried out this product. My hair is doing so, so well. And I know some people don't really like it if you are reading the reviews online, but in my personal experience, this is fantastic. So this is the K18 Biomimatic Hair Science Leave-In Molecular Repair Hair Mask. And I actually had like a really small version of this. I had like a mini, mini size because I wanted to try it out first, but this is like the normal size. This is the 50 milliliter size. This is completely empty. It is very pricey but it's so efficient because I definitely saw such a difference in my hair. My hair usually is very dry, like it's super dry, kind of coarse, almost like frizzy. 
And I really have to put a lot of treatments, a lot of products in my hair to get it to this point. And it's also really, really thick. Like I've got a lot of hair and it's just, my gosh, it is a lot to take care of. But this really makes the job of, you know, getting my hair done so much easier. So the way they are recommending using this product is actually to skip the conditioner in the shower and then, you know, just wash your hair with shampoo come out of the shower, put this in. It's almost like a leave-in sort of mask. I think that this product is even better when I put on a conditioner, an additional conditioner in the shower that I rinse out. And I use this product on wet hair and then I basically blow dry my hair and then I straighten my hair. So I went ahead and I of course repurchased this product because this is empty and I don't want to ever be without this anymore. And I purchased the bigger size. So if you comparing the quantity and the value i'm going to tell you if you love this product get the bigger bottle because i mean you are going to save some money by purchasing the bigger bottle than if you would continue purchasing the 50 milliliter one because 50 milliliters let's be real for like long thick hair does not last that long so i'm using this one i probably use five pumps in total so I do benefit from a bigger size bottle and I love this. And also do let me know if you have tried out this product because I feel like a lot of people either love it or don't. It works out amazingly for me. The next product that I wanted to talk about in today's video is something that I have been using religiously since... I want to say over 10 years. <laughs> over 10 years i have no idea how many times i have emptied this product i never featured it on my channel because it's a body wash usually i just talk about skincare for the face but i just wanted to feature this because this is so good it's my favorite body wash of all time this is by a british brand uh, it is by cowshat and it is the balance shower gel this comes in a lot of different fragrances and their fragrances are so unique but you really have to be up for this because this has a very unique scent i mean all of them smell like a spa like a real true experience it's almost like aroma therapy to be honest with you if you're into that now one of my favorite scents back in the day got discontinued so if Cowshed would ever watch this video, which I do assume that they are not, but if they would watch this, please bring back that lazy cow scent. That was my favorite scent of all time. This one, the balance one, used to be called Moody Cow. But I feel like they probably thought it would be more elegant to call their shower gels, like give them a normal name. I mean, all of the shower gels kind of targeted a specific mood. So this was the Moody Cow and it's called like Balance now. This smells so amazing. I don't even know how to describe it. It almost smells like nature, like fresh nature, but it also has a little bit of like a herbally scent to it you know it's not like completely refreshing so this is actually made with essential oils of rose geranium frankincense and ilang ilang but yeah my favorite one used to be the lazy cow that one had i think sandalwood in it which i truly adore but this is the second best and i i can live with that just the shower gel itself it's also such an amazing gel like the formula in and of itself it's amazing and it's just the best one I've ever tried. I always want to have this in my shower. Okay, so the last product that I have here is actually a body lotion. I love using body lotions. Usually I always use my Hamps lotion. It's my favorite body lotion in the world. But, you know, I have emptied a Summer Fridays Summer Skin Nourishing body lotion recently. This was actually a repurchase product. So I had emptied this product in the past. Again, I've never talked about like body care products or anything on my channel. So you never saw this product, but this is so nice. Otherwise I would have not repurchased this product. It has such an amazing scent to it, you guys. It smells like coconut and vanilla, but like a very milkshake version of it, you know? Oh, it's so addictive. The scent is amazing. I really also love the texture. I feel like this one is a little bit more nourishing. It is very, very conditioning, very nourishing. This leaves my skin, my entire body skin, super soft. The only thing I've got to critique about this product is the fact there is not enough product in this. This comes with only 200 milliliters. Look, 
I'm going through body lotion like quickly. And I'm using a lot. And 200 milliliters is not gonna last me a long time. I wish this would contain 500 milliliters because that's usually the type of product that I prefer. All of my Hamps body lotions actually come with 500 milliliters. So this is being emptied like quickly. <laughs> I go through this quite quickly, but it's every time it's a treat and it's so nice. I really love it, especially for the winter time. I've got to be honest with you, in the summertime, this might be a little bit too much for me. I also just want to point out that this is not one of these body lotions that is not absorbing. I don't like those. It's a really good one by Summer Fridays, and this is definitely not the very first product that I've been trying out by the brand. I have tried out a lot of their products, and this is one of my favorite ones out of the entire line. That was it. Those were all of the products that I had emptied over the past months. Let me know if you have tried out any of the products featured in today's video. And if you do have any more questions, please do drop me a comment down below. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and also ring the bell in order to get notified. And if you would love to see more skincare related content from me, I'm going to leave you with a playlist right here. Or is it right here? I don't know, or is it even down here? Somewhere there's gonna be a playlist popping up for you and until the next one, please do take care. Thank you so much for watching, bye bye.